Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, homage, praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Most high name is Yahweh, who you ignorantly call God. The real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And his son's name, who you ignorantly call Jesus. Who the so called white man X out over on this side. And put a fucking white image of the real Messiah, which is a so called black man. So his son, the son of the Mosai, his real name is Yahweh Shai. So the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Not God and Jesus Christ. So all that fucking bullshit one need does be talking. But God and Christ blesses. Mosai will destroy you as well. Um, is another installment of there's no way around it. I'm gonna get numbers 24 and 70. Um, going in on the so called white man, which is Edom in the Bible, his future judgment, his future punishment. Because he going to be punished. Get the devil what the Bible talk about. The so-called white race. It's a whole race. Not just one man. It's a whole race of them. The whole race of them is just the devil. The whole race of Esau is the devil. These numbers 24 and... I'll start from 17. It says... I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall arise, shall rise out of Israel. A star out of Jacob, that is Yahweh Shai. And a scepter shall arise, shall rise out of Israel, and smite the corners of Moab. The uh, so-called Chinese. And destroy the children of Sheth. And Edom. And Edom, the so-called white man, shall be a possession. Seir shall be a possession because we go down, we go down own the land because they ain't going to be no, they ain't going down Seir, which was the land, Mount Seir, where they used to, where they used to live. But now they leave that land, they're all over the earth right now. It says Seir shall be a possession. For his enemies and Israel shall do valiantly. It says, Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, Yahweh Shai, and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end that shall, shall be that he perish forever. That the judgment will come into Esau. He will perish. Ever. You can go and see. In Job said, the scripture said, the eye that saw him shall see him no more. Shall pass away like a dream. You understand? This is um, Psalm chapter. Yeah, Psalm chapter 10. No, it's not like Psalm chapter 11. Verse 6 it says are we from 5 Yahweh tried the righteous but the wicked Yahweh tried the righteous but the wicked and him that loveth violence is soul hated that is Esau because hey he so called white man love uh, he love he love violence he strive for that he, he, he he blessed him with his sword. He father Isaac blessed him with his sword. It says, Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and, hor and an horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. That will be the portion of them. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. 
So, the most high, you have no dealings with the Edomites. You have no dealings with the Edomites. So, everybody I had us to go and do something. Um, yeah, so I'll come back. The most high, you have no dealings with the Edomites. When we read Genesis, the 25th chapter. This is where the so-called white man came out from. And like I was telling my mother last night, I say, when Cain killed Abel, the most high power mark upon Cain, that if any man see Cain and kill Cain, vengeance will be, be upon that man sevenfold. But this, that mark too, is to symbolize too, but this is how I see it, that this man, let's kill his brother. Because he killed his brother Cain. And when he came, when Cain came back as Esau, the first thing Cain said, he go and kill his brother. And Jacob supplied, when Jacob get the, the blessing, he said, when my father dead, I go and kill my brother. So that was Cain. So that redness them have going way back to Cain that the, that, the, that 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 them that's killed the brother and what should he do any brother up to this day he's still killing his brother we supposed to be his brother go and read the account here written in the scriptures this Genesis 25 um, 20 20 it says Isaac um, Abraham Isaac is Abraham's son at Genesis 35 and 20 now these Isaac I'm going to read about Isaac's two sons and Isaac which was Yahawashai in the reincarnation Isaac 21 and 20 it says and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife Daughter of Bethuel the Syrian of Padanaram, the sister of Laban the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, because she could barren, she could make babies. Most of the block she womb for a period of time. And yet the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived, and the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. So she went to her prophet to inquire of the Lord. You don't get simple and say, it don't say prophet, it don't say prophet. She went to inquire of the Lord. She went to somebody. The prophet was always there. So she went to her prophet and said, well, why this going on in my belly? Because these two, these two babies in she belly was fighting against each other. Even in the womb, I will put enmity between her seed and thy seed and her seed. Going back to Genesis, the third chapter. Um, it says, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations. So you're going to have one nation here and another nation there. Don't matter if there's twins. Don't matter if there's twins. It have a nation here, and it have a nation here. And in thy womb, and two manner of people, two manner, two characteristic, two style. No matter if it have, no matter if they born the same, around the same time, they come out from the same mother and same father. But it have two different manner, two people who push out know, a vibration, two different vibrations. That was one who go push out a righteous vibration, and the one who go push out the wicked vibration. Two different manner. One who go like to, to, to be a homosexual, one who's a homosexual by nature, and one who go know not to be a homosexual by nature. One who go and believe in God, and one who just don't believe it have a God, who believe in a big bang theory. Two different manner people shall be separated, not put together. Do the one these together here, the one do so separation from thy bowels. 
and the one people, the one, the chosen people, shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. Now, if you read in the Bible, the Mosai chose Jacob. So, the Most High chose Jacob, he didn't choose Esau. And I say, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. Where Esau come from the Hebrew word Aishashua, which means what? Wasted away is he. What was wasted away? His pigment going way back to Cain. Going way back to Cain. You understand? And after this, after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on Esau's heel and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score, year, three, three score years old when she bared him. You understand? But the first that came out red, which is the so-called white people, because they're not white, they're red. They have no pigment in them. And the second came out normal, because everybody back then had color in the skin. That is like what they teach you that the black man is just a nasty man. No, we... Going in, even Elamites, Moabites, all of the other nations are color on the skin. These were the only nation who didn't have color on the skin. The Elamites, Esau, sons and daughters. The sons are the wicked. But jumping back to 23, it say, the elder shall serve the younger. The first came out red. So, the elder is, the, is Esau. He older than we. But we really will learn he spiritually, but he will learn us physically, born before we. So if the elder shall serve the younger, that right there in itself is prophecy. Because right now we're waiting for the elder to serve the younger. Who is the younger? Who is Jacob's sons? So right now we're waiting for the elder to serve the younger. You understand? We're waiting on that. This July. Um, um, Isaiah 50, 51 on uh, 19. Let's talk about Israel here. They said these two things, these two things are come unto thee, whom shall be sorry for thee? Desolation and destruction. Any the two things will come upon us, and famine and the sword, and by whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted, they lie at the head of all the streets, as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy power. Therefore hear this now, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. We are afflicted and drunken with wine. The jungle with the philosophies are the so-called white man. It says, Thus said the Lord, Isaiah 51 and 22, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, that, and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people, Israel, Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. So we can go and drink it again, and that time coming now. But I will put it into the hand of all them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down, that we may go over. And, and hey, they literally do that. Physically, they tell me, spirit, they, they, they say, hey, bow down. And put we on that, put Jacob's son under them. And they, they, they climb over we. But physically, you know, they do that to we in slavery. Some of them was even walking on top of fucking jakes. Put jakes to lie down on the ground and walk on top of it. That we may go over, and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them, 
that went over that, that physically happened the conquer we and we just became on the 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 the, the, the doormat in other words but the most i see he will put it in the hand of all them that afflict us these lamentation chapter 4 verse 22 it says um Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Verse 21, Lamentations 4 and 21. That dwellest in the land of Uz, America, the cup shall also pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. To the most I tell in this so white man to rejoice, to be happy. This is your judgment for God and come. It's not a pleasant cup, no? It's not a pleasant cup, you know, because Psalm 75 and, okay. Yeah. This Psalm 75 and 8, it says, for in, the hand, for in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poured out of the same but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drunk them, drink them out and drink them. The, that cup is not a pleasant cup. That cup is a cup of fury. And it makes sure, it makes with all, it makes sure, it full of mixture, it full of all kinds of different plagues. All kinds of different plagues. Take the cup in the hand of the Lord. And the wicked go and drink them. Jesus is a white man, and that time, yeah, we fastly, we, 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 we quickly approaching that time. You see all this shit happening around the world, right? All kind of things happening around the world, right? And that time for we to rejoice. Back in Lamentations 4 and 22, it said, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins and the most high getting ready to do that right about now. We living in them days, boy. We living in them days. You understand? We living in the days where you have a basham, you have a shy, looking to get ready to fuck this place up. To fuck this place up. These, these are um, Revelation chapter 14 verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, I'm talking about the mark of the beast, the same, sh which is the RFI, the microchip, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup. That is why inside of the cup are the Most High hand. Because it say, in Psalm 75, in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup. But here was the, here were in the cup, the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Indignation mean righteous anger. And he shall, and he shall, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. And in the presence of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai. And that is what going on happen to the so-called white race and devils. This damn um, Jeremiah chapter 49. This is Esau judgment, and it have no way around it, Esau. You could come all out, it have no way around it. You can't get around what I say, and this is your judgment, this is what written. Matter of fact, before I go there, I'm going to go in Psalms 149. Psalms 149 and 5. It says, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. It's talking about in the kingdom. It's talking about when we conquer this fucking so called white man. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand to execute judgment, to execute vengeance upon the heathen. All the fucking heat. 
from Edom to Ammon. All of them, all of them, only he. A punishment upon the people to bind their king, the Rothschilds, the Rock of their, their kings, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Dupons, the Gettys, Oppenheimers, all of them, with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, fucking hardcore bondage, to execute upon them the judgment written. Written in what? This book. Because this book of judgment written for some for, 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 for the heathen, mainly the so-called white man, that we mean enemies. And that is what this topic is about. The judgment written, this praise, this 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 honor of all his saints. His saints, if you read Revelation, um, Psalms 148, verse 14, he also, this Psalms 148, verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. So his saints is the Israelites. That don't either might be in a saint that he must say in madness. But the judgment written, look one of the judgment written here. These Psalms 49 verse, I'm going to Psalm Salakia. Jeremiah 49 verse 10, it says, After this, I'll go and close. But I have made Esau bear, and have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not, it says, and he shall not be able to hide himself. Yeah, he, couldn't even, he couldn't hide himself when he was scared or not. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave um, no, nah, I will jump down to 30. No, 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 verse 12. Matter of fact, I will continue reading. It. it says, Leave thy fatherless children, I will preserve them alive, and let thy window widows trust in me. For thus saith Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, they have assuredly drunken. That was we. We wasn't to drink of the cup, or the wrath, or the most high, but we drink. And a thou he that shall altogether go unpunished, yes, yeah, so he saw a thou he that shall altogether go unpunished, there's no way around it, you are going into slavery. But thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Yahweh, the Almighty, that Bajra, which is a place where Edom used to live in, Back in the ancient world, but Bajra here, spiritually referring to America, shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse. And all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. So you go and have the New York City, Seattle, Denver, um, fucking Los Angeles, all the cities go and become a waste. Because that people saying only New York City will be destroyed. It's the whole of America. It says, I have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathen, saying, Gather you together and come against and rise up to the battle. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Thy terribleness had deceived thee, and the pride of thy heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, of the rock. The, ter the, the terribleness. Why he terribleness deceived him? Because he was so powerful now. Eh? He was so terrible. All nations did fear him. So what go on with he? He said, by his God Almighty, man. So he said, thy terribleness had deceived thee and, pr and the pride of thy heart. So he get real proud. O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, which is Esau, that holdest the height of the hill, Though thou should make thyself, though thou should make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence. So you know you're talking about Esau because why? He make his nest high as the eagle. And all ancient Edomite empire, all empire what the so-called white man had, his symbol, his animalistic symbol is the eagle. I will bring thee down from thence, yet Yahweh. Also Edom shall be a desolation 
everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. So that is the time you come in too. And now is our time to rejoice for we. As the most I say, taking out that cup of trembling from we hand, and you go in and give them it. So I will say, Barakataya, how about Shami, I was shy. Double letters again to the apostle, letters are great millstone shall work.